we in the developing world, we feel one of the biggest hindrances is getting access to the right resources at the right time. Donc en termes de, de déploiement sur, dans un cadre universitaire où c'est des déploiements à grande échelle où il y a énormément de serveurs installés, le coût final en propriétaire est vraiment très très cher. But there could be alternatives for such softwares. Open source is free and no one's supposed to pay for it. If I want to, to, be, to have something really useful adapted for my context, I have to produce myself. Why can't Africa spearhead one of these components of trying to get open source software developed. Polls and Avoir uh, are part of the project funded by IDRC about the usage of open source uh, software in Africa. Each of these two projects uh, try to develop new tools uh, and at the same time to use some existing tools. Avoir was very uh, focused on the development of an African e-learning system. I would give a case study of Kenya. We are now 30 million people. The institutions we have of higher learning, the public ones, I'll say six, seven or so. By 2010, we are going to have approximately 17 to 20,000 students. How are we all going to be in the same geographical space? The thing we first looked into was uh, the proprietary LMSs, which became very expensive for us. Vendor software, proprietary software, you know, is not the only way to go. There is an alternative. The best software out there is free. Free, open, open, collaborative software which people give their input. First, there are no cost implications. Secondly, we have the developers with us. Because we have a software development capability, we have a, an interest in e-learning as a domain within which the software can be applied, and we have people who are practitioners in that domain. And so this is quite a nice uh, mix that gives us the ability to really explore what technology can do for teaching and learning. The first phase of AVWA focused mainly on uh, the academic aspect or the e-learning aspect of AVWA where a learning management system was developed. Uh, we interacted with uh, Professor Derek Kitts who was at the time also in charge of another e-learning software called Cool. They talked of uh, developing Cool, you know, as maybe an African-made product and one that can be used around and it should be developed from within and used within. The idea of collaborating across Africa immediately came up. And that's how Chisimba was born. Okay, Chisimba simply comes from a Malawian word, which means a framework for building a house. Chisimba has two broad aspects. We have the content management system, like now for instance, a website for the University of the Western Cape is based on the Chisimba. And then we have the e-learning portal for students to see. We have the assignment module. And these modules are the building blocks of a system. If you wanted an e-learning application, you would install the base system plus the modules for doing course management and uh, quizzes and all of those sorts of things. Having had an experience with Moodle and, and some other LMS, I think it is a little bit more flexible. So phase two is slightly different in that we are training people to become entrepreneurs in open source software development. We feel that now we can use it for you know, many other services on top of actually getting e-learning. So Avoa therefore needs to look at the business aspects of this. Uh, how then can we utilize student projects to market these products and uh, have income? This is the lab where the students are. Like the address book we have, we just read about it, then I got to understand how it works, then we implemented it. So if the administrator is going to enable people who should use the chat room, he comes to this admin component. Uh, it shows the disease that it treats and then the preparation, how you can go about it in order to take it as a medicine. I believe that once we uh, provide technical skills to these people, they are really able to develop very good projects that uh, can be implemented and really lead the nation to the developed uh, class. If you want answers from your colleagues, you can use the forum to communicate. So if a learner wants to enroll for each any of these course units, he can maybe come and click here. Um, despite the fact of all the limitations we have of working in Africa with bandwidth, I think we've, we've been able to go quite quickly to do things that basically give young African developers in higher education a chance to work at the cutting edge, but at the cutting edge according to their own terms. I think I make and other people use. And it's satisfaction to see people 
utilizing your ideas, not as raw, but as products. Paul's focused more on the development of tools for university administration, for the North African universities. La première partie, c'était le, c'était une distribution GNU Linux avec les services nécessaires pour l'université ou autre entité administrative. So the team focused on introducing these tools in the universities, convincing the university administration. On a tenu une réunion en 2004 avec des acteurs universitaires et du monde du libre du Maroc, Algérie, Tunisie. Et puis on s'est rendu compte qu'il y avait beaucoup beaucoup de similitudes entre les milieux universitaires dans ces trois pays et que ce serait dommage de commencer chacun dans son petit coin à faire des trucs. Adding to the difficulty of coordinating comes the difficulty between the community of open source software development and the university administration. Il y a aussi un manque de volonté politique d'instaurer les produits open source dans tout ce qui est administration publique, tout ce qui est programme de formation et d'enseignement. It's more than just uh, ICT project or just producing things. It's more than that. It's policies and strategic way to do it. Au lieu de regarder ce consommateur, de pencher toute ma stratégie, de comment je peux le, le faire changer d'avis, de, de changer de stratégie, non, je regarde le futur consommateur. Et le logiciel libre, vraiment, c'est une aubaine pour nous, c'est une chance, mais unique, il faut la saisir parce que sinon, bah, les autres vont la fa le faire pour nous et, et, et ça va être trop tard. Oui, il y a une façon de faire de l'argent, pas autant que les grandes entreprises, mais ce n'est pas à cette peur d'avoir a lot of money and our, it's more about sharing but yeah you can you can do it i will not be in business doing open source if i don't believe on that l'afrique peut devenir un acteur bien sûr s'il arrive à un moment donné à développer euh, une vraie industrie de logiciels quand j'étais petit enfant quand je reçois un jouet je le casse pour voir ce qu'il y a dedans et pour voir comment il marche et je n'ai jamais accepté un produit fermé qu'un exécutable qu'on ne sait pas ce qu'il y a derrière, on ne peut pas le modifier, on ne peut pas le transformer. Et pour moi, c'est l'image des open source et des produits commercialisés.